Hello everyone, thank you so much for being a part of UBC TV. My name is Wilfred Senyange, bringing you kids news. To start with, preserving environment is very important not only to humans, but also to the animals that live within. Recently, Uganda just put a ban on the use of polythene bags, commonly known as Vera. The law has come with so many challenges, facing rapid criticism from traders and also other benefactors. However, the move to ban the use of Vera is still on, as several environmentalists are pushing on the matter even further. Greenwatch Uganda is among these organizations and it was one of the main sponsors of the Green Festival that took place last Saturday at the Kololo Ceremonial Grounds. <laughs> The event that attracted hundreds of children accompanied by their parents was such a successful one. It's intended to make children aware about the dangers of using polythene bags so that the generation to come is not resistant to environmental politics as such. Why have you come to the to the trip today? To have fun and are you serious? You want to chase away Kavera? Yes. Now tell me, what are the dangers of Kavera in Uganda? Kavera is money for this day. Okay. You can get it. Oh, tell me some of the things that we find in the environment. Uh -huh, that is one. Grass, but that is two. Houses, that is three. People, that is four. Animals, that is five. You can see the message. Everybody is here to see that we ban Cabrera out of our country. For the betterment of our country, we need to kick Cabrera out. The children enjoyed all sorts of play at the event. Kids News interacted with the course process of the event, and this is what they said. This man also explained to us the process they go through to make bags out of banana fibers. The journey to completely wipe out polythene bags in Uganda still needs a combined effort as many Ugandans still haven't responded to the call to stop using polythene bags. A special place was set up during the event where every child plus their parents were required to drop polythene bags there. <laughs> The children were entertained to a number of performances from several artists. Enjoy this. <laughs> A 
acrobatics, my God, was even more stunning. These children mesmerized everyone in each of their stage performances. <laughs> The joyful children danced to the tunes of music and wowed their fellow children. Let's go, DJ Roger! something secret he can keep inside of you. I want sweet feeling, I want to catch you. Oh, this must be love, this must be love, this must be love, this must be love. I see the skin for other girls, they want to rival you. They confuse you, baby, but they don't compare you. All right, DJ Roach, DJ Roach, this must be love. The happiness that the children had here couldn't be hidden in our interaction with them. This is exactly what they told us. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. About? <laughs> Interact with kids. Uh -huh. Know what they like. Uh -huh. They like things. Very good. What do kids like? They like to have fun playing. Uh -huh. They like playing the bouncing castles. Okay. Interacting with friends. Uh -huh. Meeting with other families. Sure. Yeah. Now tell me the importance of interacting with other families. Get Get new friends. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about this Cavera thing that I hear about. The Cavera campaign. Are you aware about it? You know. No one does it. No one does it. No. Some people don't know. The what? Echo song. The echo song. The colorful green festival event made the day for so many of the children. Many of them braved the scorching sun to keep an eye on stage as powerful entertainers rocked them with what they had prepared. <laughs> The Green Festival is one of the many activities for the anti cavera campaign for this year. And as Uganda continues to struggle in implementing the past law, as citizens, we need to help the authorities to reach the target.